Hey guys, Tita James here. Welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. In this one, we're taking a look at a phone from a new smartphone brand entering the Philippines. I'm of course talking about the Spark Pi Pro from Techno Mobile. So the brand actually sent over this cake to introduce themselves to us, well, kind of because of the pandemic and all, along with the Spark 5 Pro. Now, this is the first time I'm actually trying out one of their phones, so I kind of did a little digging on the brand, and here are a few things we can expect from them and this device. Number one is that they have a healthy selection of products. So while we have this device with us right now, I think we can expect more to be introduced very soon. Number two is that their pricing, at least from the ad that was served to me by Facebook, will be very competitive. This is set to be less than 7,000 pesos. Number three, based on the key specs on the side of the box, we're seeing some pretty good features on the Spark 5 Pro. Now for bonus trivia, if you're actually into football or soccer, Techno Mobile is actually partnered with the Manchester City Football Club. Anyway, I think I've talked about the brand enough. Let's get to showing you what comes inside the packaging. Of course, you have the phone itself, and they're really flexing that partnership with Manchester City on this one. Anyway, this is the Spark 5 Pro in the seabed blue colorway, and this has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. You have a jelly case, and I think they get bonus points for not making it look generic, and you actually have some port covers for a bit of protection. Aside from that, you have the documentation that includes a warranty card plus this badge looking thing to give you more info on the coverage and of course the user guide. Again, keep this even if you're not going to read it. You have the SIM ejector pin, a pair of earphones, another bonus because some budget phones don't even include these anymore. You have the micro USB cable and of course the charging brick. Okay, so that's everything that comes inside the box. Now let's take a closer look at the phone itself. For its build quality, there's no denying it. It's made out of polycarbonate plastic, which is fine given the price point, but it does feel very sturdy in the hand and the heftiness or weight of the device definitely lends to that. Now, it's not overly heavy compared to other phones in the same price range, but I feel like it's just right for my preference. As far as ergonomics goes, it feels like it's a little too wide and you can really feel the transition between the frame and display, but that's easily solved by slapping on the case. This is definitely a phone that you're going to want to use with both hands. Now in terms of design, it does look good with this very eye-catching gradient in this colorway. Personally, I would pick the white version of this phone since you guys know that I'm a little over the whole gradient trend, but this looks really nice nonetheless. Now, I don't know if you can really see it on screen, but those wavy lines really bring home those ocean vibes of the seabed blue color variant. On the back, you've got the camera array on the upper left-hand corner. That's very on trend for 2020, and I like it that it's not overly huge, but it looks the part if you know what I mean. And then, of course, the physical fingerprint scanner. That's an oldie but goldie. I still prefer these over in-display ones, if I'm being honest, but I don't know if that's just my Tito sensibilities. For the quick tour of the button and port layout, you have the speaker grill, micro USB port, mic and headphone jack on the bottom, the volume rocker, and the power button that has a bit of a red accent is on the right. And lastly, you have access to the SIM tray on the left. Now for the screen, you have one that measures in at 6.6 .6 inches at HD plus resolution or 720 by 1600 pixels. That shouldn't be a surprise given the price range of the phone, but it'll definitely do for that YouTube video binge or when you're just browsing through your socials. Now the box says that you have a dot in display, which means you have a punch hole to house the front camera. Usually that means you have a better screen to body ratio, but as you can see with the Spark 5 Pro, it still has a bit of a forehead and chin, but those bezels aren't too bad. Under the hood of this device is a MediaTek Helio P22 processor paired with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. Now it's not going to be a gaming powerhouse for sure, but it should have enough muscle for daily tasks or schoolwork if that's what you're in the market for. Of course, I have to test it out further to see what this phone can really do, so make sure you check the website in the next few days for its full review. I do appreciate the fact though that it has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage because phones at around this price point get less than that. For the battery, the Spark 5 Pro is rocking one at 5000mAh that should be enough to keep the lights on for at least a day and a half with my use. 
My only concern here is charging times since I can't seem to find any information online if it does support any type of quick charging, but worst case scenario, it will be somewhere around two hours. Now let's talk about the cameras. And as I mentioned, you have five on the Spark 5 Pro. You have an 8 megapixel selfie camera housed in that dot in display at an aperture of f2.0, and you can record video at 1080p 30 FPS. For the cameras on the back, you have a 16 megapixel main shooter at f1.8, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, 2 MP macro camera, and a QVGA camera, so it doesn't have as many shooting options as I would have wanted, but here are a couple of sample photos. Actually kids, that's pretty much it for your quick look at the Spark 5 Pro from Techno Mobile. Currently, it's priced at 5,999 pesos on Shopee. I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. But yeah, I'm very curious to see how this will do in our full review. And with that, thank you so much for dropping by and spending a few minutes with me. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to Unbox.ph, plus follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. My name is Jamie. Peace, God bless. I'll see you guys next time, and stay safe.